Let's start with in-person questions for Coach and then move to Zoom if needed due to the volume of media members here. Could you just do one question and a follow-up? And then if we have time, we'll circle back. Uh, we'll start with Annie and then we'll go to Maggie. This team started the season on such a high. How would you summarize this this feeling, this moment right now? Well, it's, it's tough. Um, it's, it's probably one of the biggest disappointments that I've had professionally. So, I mean, uh, the players, they gave everything this year and they did everything. I thought they deserved a little bit more. Um, so I've, I'm, I'm really disappointed uh, for them. You know, I'm hurt for them. So um, it's hard to put into words right now. Um, so, yeah, I just wish we, we could have uh, continued playing. But uh, I thought they did as much as they could. Those last four minutes, or before the game, you said you said this one's going to come down to heart, um, not IQ. And in the last four minutes, um, the Sun obviously went on a run to close this game. What did you see from your team that prevented them from, you know, answering? I thought they, I thought they displayed a lot of heart. I just felt like we didn't have anything. Um, you know, I'm, I'm. This is probably going to hurt me for a long time. I felt like I, I could have done a better job of giving, get, getting them a, a bucket, and um, I just couldn't get them one. Uh, so, yeah, I couldn't get them one. They've done everything I've asked, so I just I, I feel for them. And um, we haven't had a quarter like that. And just to end the season off, it didn't display what we've actually done, you know. Um. I just wish I could have got him a bucket, you know, and I, I just couldn't, just couldn't, man. And, um, yeah, it's just, it was just a tough feeling. That's a tough feeling. Maggie. Were there any particular players on the Sun that you felt like really hurt you guys? Uh, no, they just, they came out with a collective effort. Um, you know, it wasn't anyone in particular. They're a good team. They're a great team, and you know, we've they've given us trouble all year. Even though we we had a winning record against them, um, they they they're a tough team, and they they absolutely deserve to be going to the finals. Um, so I, I mean, my hats off to them, and they have a great coaching staff. I've worked with Co uh, Kurt and with Team USA, and I've gotten to know them a little bit, and uh, Alvi also, and and so I, I you know it's just not taking anything away from them, but. I just thought we, you know, we had a little bit more left in the tank, and I, I felt like I could have did a better job of giving us a bucket down the end. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for them, um, and, you know, because they put in work too. So, yeah. Steven and then James K. Hey, Coach. So 18, was it 18 to 8 in the third quarter, and then that flipped on his head and went 24-5 in favor of Connecticut in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, can you speak to what you saw from the offense as far as what specifically stopped working? Uh, we just couldn't get a basket. Um, I mean, I thought we got us a, a couple of layups that we didn't make, but um, other and other than that, it was it was tough for us to navigate around them and get to the, get to the lane, and um, and and we just you know uh, I'm, I'm I have to look at the game actually and just try to uh, understand, you know, uh, why why I couldn't, you know, put us in a situation where we could score a little bit easier. Uh, I, up to this point, I thought I'd done a, uh, an okay job, but I, uh, I, I, I feel like I let them down a little bit. Yeah. And then kind of speaking to that, did you feel like the defense kind of suffered from the lack of, you know, uh, production from the offensive offensive end as far as them getting out in transition and getting in the open court. I mean, defensively, I thought we were fine. They scored seventy two points. Defensively, I thought we were solid uh, all all series long, with the exception of the last game. Um, I think outside of the last game, they was averaging only seventy two, seventy three points a game. I just um, we uh, had a hard time putting the ball in the basket, and I think that's what it came down to. Um, and I extended their minutes, um, you know, that starting group. And maybe I could have, you know, got them out a little bit early and, and put them back in so they could have something for the full. James Kathenfell. Um, Coach, I mean, if you're okay with it, is there anything that you can share with us about what you told the team after the game, just, again, given all that you've been through um, with this team this year? 
I just told them that I was proud of them. Um, and I thought they deserved to still be playing. And, um, you know, I appreciate everything that they've done for uh, not only the organization, but uh, also myself. And, um, you know, some more stuff, but, you know. Okay. Uh, Coach Miller was talking about how uh, they were kind of frenetic with their rotations in that fourth quarter to kind of clog up things and kind of uh, make you – well, he said he thought you would believe that uh, you settled for shots that you wouldn't normally want in that fourth quarter. Uh, do, do you feel that was the, the case? No, I wouldn't say that. It's just uh, – I wouldn't say we settled, but it's just we just couldn't couldn't get it in the basket or – couldn't navigate what they were doing just to get free. So um, I don't. I don't think our players settled. I thought they gave as much as they could, and we just came up short. We have Candice here, so we'll take questions for Candice as well. Zachary. Hey, Coach. Um, given everything that you all um, were up against this season, all the expectations. Um, you know, history may look at this team in one way, but how would you want uh, history to remember? Uh, this team, given all the expectations and everything like that? I mean, we just – we were a team that gave everything to each other and, and played for each other. And, uh, um, you know, a lot of people found joy in the way that we played. Um, and so, um, you know, I'm I'm appreciative of everything. So it doesn't matter to me how people look at us. Um, I just wanted to represent the way we played to be sky basketball and we just go from there. Carly, then Alexa. Hey, Coach. Um, can you just talk about Kalia Copper's uh, like uttermost intensity that she had today? It feel like she threw her entire heart and soul onto the court, especially in those last four minutes. What did you just see out of her today in the game? I mean, that's what she does. She gives us everything. Like she, she gave everything defensively, offensively, energy wise, and um, she's done it for us all year. And so I just appreciate her fight, her grit and uh, what she means to every single person in the locker room and also our organization. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I uh, wish she could have continued to play and continued playing because I felt like she deserved to play. Like, I feel like playoffs time is, is car time. Uh, but that's not the case. And then just a follow-up to uh, Candice.